What's up y'all, welcome back to Fish the Moment. Today we're gonna to be testing the image quality on three fish finders at different price points from the same brand. Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll know if it's worth it for you to spend extra money on a fish finder, or if you can get away with a budget fish finder and still find a lot of fish. Let's get into it. Let's start with an overview of the three units we tested. The first is the Lowrance Hook Reveal 9-inch unit. It retails for $889 and comes with side imaging, down imaging, and 2D sonar. Next, we have the Lowrance Elite FS 9-inch unit. This unit retails for $1,349. It also has side imaging, down imaging, and 2D sonar, and it also is compatible with Lowrance Active Target, which is their forward-facing sonar. Finally, we have the Lowrance HDS Live 9-inch unit. It retails for $2,199. It comes with side imaging, down imaging, 2D sonar. It's compatible with Lowrance Active Target, and it comes with a super high-res screen for better image quality. In this video, I'll be comparing the 2D sonar, down scan, and side scan views from all three units to see what your extra money gets you when you go from one price point to the other. A few things I want to call out up front is that one, I was actually provided these units from Lowrance. This is not a paid promotion. They didn't ask me to make this video. I wanted to do this for you guys, but I do want to disclose that I was given these units by Lowrance. The second thing is that I spent multiple days on the lake with each of these units dialing in the settings to get the best image possible. Now these settings are based on what I like to see on my fish finder when I'm fishing for bass, and they may not look perfect depending on your preferences for the settings. However, I do want to assure you that I did the best I could to get the best possible image for these comparisons from each unit. I also spent time on the water with actual engineers from Lowrance who developed the software and hardware in these units to make sure that it had the best settings possible. That way these comparisons are as fair as possible across these different units. You will notice that I'm using different color palettes sometimes, and there's small differences in the images, and that's because the different color palettes or the different settings give me the best image in each scenario. With all that out of the way, let's jump into the comparison. We'll start with the Lowrance Hook Reveal 9-inch unit. Again, this retails for $889. If we take a look at the image here from 2D Sonar, you notice a few arches that are on the screen. These are some bass they're setting up on a big rock in 15 to 25 feet of water. Next, we have the Elite FS unit that retails for $1,349. Again, if we look at this 2D sonar image, which is from a slightly different area, you can again see some fish that are positioned on a rock pile in 15 to 25 feet of water. The arches right here pop pretty well off the screen, though they do look pretty similar to what we found with the $800 unit. Finally, we have the Lowrance HDS Live unit. This is the $2,000 unit, and here's another different rock pile again on 2D sonar. All three of these areas look a little bit different because they're actually three different spots, but there were fish on all three of them. Here we have some bass in 15 to 25 feet of water, and I verified these were bass, I actually caught them, so I know these are bass, and you'll see those arches again on the screen. Again, they look very similar to the images from the first two fish finders, and honestly, there's not that big of a difference overall when we compare the 2D sonar across these three units. This isn't that surprising, honestly, because 2D sonar has been around for a very long time, and there's not really that much you can do to significantly improve 2D sonar across these three units. They all look very similar. I think that the more expensive units allow you to get a little bit better coloring out of those arches, which will help you identify the size of the fish. But that's kind of an advanced electronics technique. If you're just using it to identify if there are fish there, you can definitely do that with all three units. You can also identify the rocks, the bottom, everything like that. Therefore, I don't think that there's a significant difference between these three units in the image quality of 2D sonar. Next up, let's compare the down scan across these three units, starting with the hook reveal. This hook reveal unit again is $800, and I was shocked at how good the down imaging was on this $800 unit. You can see the rock pile very clearly, as well as those dots that are positioned just to the left of that rock pile. The dots are very crisp and clear and pop out of that black background very well. I had very uh, low expectations, I guess I would say, when I first plugged in this unit, I didn't think I was going to get a super great image from downscan, but I was pleasantly surprised at how clear the image was. 
I will say that it took me longer to dial in this unit than it did the other two units. The other two units come pretty much ready to go out of the box. The hook reveal took a little bit of tweaking. I had to change the color palettes a little bit, change some of the settings. So it was definitely a little bit harder to get this really clear image. But after messing with it for a while, I was able to get a really good image that is serviceable by any standard and I would feel comfortable using this unit as my normal fish finder, especially for this down scan view, if this image quality is this good consistently. Now one call that I will make is that I was scanning on a very clear lake on hard bottom. So I was kind of in the ideal conditions for this down imaging test. I haven't really tested this unit too much in really dirty, muddy water, silty bottom, stuff like that. So results may vary, but from at least my initial test here, it looks really good. Next, we have the Elite FS unit. This is priced at $1,300, and the downscan image quality is what I would expect from a unit of this price range. It has good target separation between those dots. You can see the rock very clearly, and it's very comparable to the Humbert Helix that I've been running on my boat for a while now, around the same price range. And for those who are wondering, I will be doing some comparisons between brands of fish finders at the same price point, like this Elite FS versus the Humbert Helix, so stay tuned for those coming in the future. But the down imaging image here is really great. It's also set up pretty well right out of the box. I didn't have to adjust the settings that much at all to get a good image from this down scan view, so definitely happy with that. Finally, let's take a look at down scan on an HDS Live unit. In my opinion, I don't see any noticeable difference between the image quality on the HDS Live unit and the Elite FS unit. The reason for this, I believe, is because they both run the exact same transducer. Both units come stock with an active imaging 3-in-1 transducer, and I'm actually just running one transducer on the back of my boat and plugging it into the different units, depending on which one I'm using. This means that even though the Elite FS unit is almost $1,000 less expensive than the HDS Live unit, the down imaging image quality is about the same, at least in my opinion. If we take a look across all three units, you can see the image quality is actually pretty consistent across all three. Obviously, the more expensive units have a little bit more detail in the rocks and those fish pop a little bit more off the screen, especially with the default settings. In general, if you don't want to mess around a lot with your fish finder settings, going with at least the FS, which is the $1,300 unit, will get you better settings right out of the box and you're pretty much ready to go right when you get to the lake. If you go for the hook reveal unit, which is the $800 unit, you're going to have to mess with the settings a lot more to get a really clear, good image like the one you see here. And if you want a more detailed view of the actual settings I'm using on these fish finders, I have sonar settings guides available on my website, fishthemoment.com, with the exact settings that I found for these units, and also ways you can adjust them based on the bottom composition you have on your lake, the water clarity, and a lot of other factors. So definitely check out those sonar settings guides on my website, fishthemoment.com. But if you are on a budget, you can definitely get away with the $800 unit and still see the exact same things you're seeing on the more expensive units. This is really interesting because now in two tests, we can see that the image quality between all three units is not worlds apart. It's not like it's this massive difference. Yes, I would say that in down imaging, the more expensive units look a little bit better and they're easier to use right out of the box. But if you're just comparing a straight up image quality, they're pretty comparable across the board. But now we have the final view that we need to compare, which is side scan. And this is where we start seeing some differences between these price points. First, we have the hook reveal unit. This is the $800 unit. And the side imaging view on this unit is not as clear as the other two as you'll see here in a minute. One of the main differences between these units is that this hook reveal comes with a different transducer from the other two. This has a triple shot transducer versus the active imaging transducer. All that means is that the image quality on this side imaging is just not gonna be as good because the transducer isn't as good. You still can see some rocks in this image. You can see the shadows of some objects, but it's hard to tell if you're looking at a rock or a stump. I'm not saying that this image is completely unreadable or unusable because you can get some good information from the side imaging view, but it's definitely not as clear as the other units. But one thing I will say is that if you're not that interested in identifying every single limb of a tree or seeing every fish 
that might be sitting there on the bottom of the lake with your side scan and you're just using it to see if there's some rocks out there, see if there's a brush pile out there, this unit will get the job done. It's just anything more than object identification is a real struggle at this price point. Next, we have the side scan view on the Elite FS unit. This is a $1,300 unit that comes with the upgraded transducer. So right off the bat, we're going to get a better side scan image because the hardware in that transducer is better. You can clearly see those boulders on the right side of the screen. They really pop off the screen. You can also see the shadows of those boulders. If there were fish in those boulders, you would see a few dots around those shadows. You can pretty clearly see fish in the shadows of objects with this Lead FS unit, which is very valuable if you are an advanced electronics user. You can also see some more subtle rocks on the left side of the screen, which is great when you're on a lake without a lot of cover because sometimes these small little rock piles can hold a lot of fish if there's not a lot of cover out in the lake. It was a lot harder to identify rocks and sticks and boulders on the hook reveal unit side scan, so I will say that the Elite FS is a major upgrade in terms of side scan quality for just $500 extra. If you are going to be using side scan a lot and want to take advantage of this functionality, I would say the bare minimum you want to do is get this Elite FS unit because there is a big jump in quality in side scan. Finally, we have the side scan view on the HDS Live unit, and this is where the HDS Live starts justifying that $2,000 price tag. The image quality for the side scan on this unit is really, really good. You can see every detail in that rock pile on the left side of the screen. You can see subtle bottom composition changes on the right side of the screen. You can easily pick out fish from rocks in the bottom left corner of this image if you know what you're looking for, and overall the image quality for side scan on the HDS Live unit is far superior to the other two units. The other thing that I will say with this unit is that it has a higher resolution screen. So not only do these screenshots look better, but when you're actually out on the lake, the high resolution screen really makes the side imaging image look incredible. If you're on the lake with the unit, you will notice a massive difference between the screen quality on the Elite FS unit and the HDS Live unit. And even though there really wasn't that much of a difference in the down scan and the 2D sonar between the three units, side imaging is really where you get your money's worth when comparing the different price points. If we compare these three images side by side, you can definitely see the difference in image quality. I'm not looking at the exact same spots, but you can get a sense for how much clearer the $2,000 image is from the $800 image. Another big call out is that I didn't have to do very much adjustments at all on the $2,000 unit to get that crystal clear image. The settings out of the box are really good, honestly. I had to do a lot more adjustment with the Elite FS, that $1,300 unit, to get a good image that you see here. and. No matter what adjustments I did on the $800 unit, I still really could get a very clear image, even after hours and hours of trying. So if you're wanting a unit that just works out of the box and you don't have to mess with a lot of the settings, that $2,000 HDS Live has great settings for both 2D sonar, down imaging, and the side scan right out of the box. It's definitely the most user-friendly of the three units, the least work. The Elite FS is right behind that with the down scan, the 2D sonar being very simple, with the side scan taking a little more work to set up, and then the $800 hook reveal unit takes a little bit of finesse in the settings. You have to mess around with it a lot to get the image you want, but it also comes with a lot lower price tag, so that might justify the little bit extra hassle if you're on a budget. Now it's time for my final takeaways from this comparison. Starting with a 2D sonar view, the image clarity is pretty comparable across all three units. You're not really getting anything more by going up in price point if you're just using 2D sonar. All three units come with pretty good settings out of the box and it's not that much of a hassle to set them up. Just turn on the 2D sonar view on any of these units and you should be good to go. Next, we have the down scan view. In general, the more expensive units have a little bit better image quality than the $800 unit. They're also a lot easier to set up out of the box and pretty much work with the default settings. However, the $800 unit still has really good image clarity and it's not that far behind the other two units. Again, I was pleasantly surprised at how good this image clarity is and you can still identify rocks and fish and everything you need to with that down scan view. It does take a little bit more time to dial in the settings on that $800 unit, but once you do, the image clarity will serve you almost as well as the other two units. 
Finally, we have the side scan view. And this is where we start to see major differences between these three price points. In my opinion, if you're going to be using side skin consistently on the lake and you want to use it to identify brush piles, rock piles, things like that, I would start at that $1,300 price point, that Elite FS unit, and go up from there. The $800 hook reveal unit is decent, I guess. It allows you to see that there might be something down there, a rock, a brush pile, potentially, but you don't have enough image clarity and target separation to really know what you're looking at. And if you're investing in a fish finder to use the side scan functionality and want to get the most out of that, I would not recommend this hook reveal unit. That doesn't mean that this is a bad unit by any means though. On the contrary, if you're not that interested in using side imaging and you just want to use down scan and 2D sonar, I would highly recommend just getting this $800 unit and not going for the more expensive units. The only real advantage I see in the more expensive units is their side scan capabilities, in addition a little bit to the ease of actually getting them set up. But if you're okay messing with the sayings a little bit and you are more budget conscious, then definitely go for that hook reveal unit. Moreover, if you are just using the 2D sonar and the down imaging, you don't even need a 9-inch screen on the unit. I recommend 9-inch screens for anglers who are using side scan. That's the smallest screen size I would ever recommend anyone use if they're running side imaging or side scan. But if you're just running 2D sonar or down imaging, you can go with the $500 7-inch unit and it comes with the same transducer and you get that same image quality in a smaller package at a cheaper price point. This means you get good down scan, good 2D sonar at a $500 price point and that's pretty hard to beat. However, if you do want to use side scan, then again, I would start with that $1,300 price point at the LFS. And if you want to get the best image quality possible, both in the actual image on the screen, plus having the higher res screen to give you a really pretty image, I would go with that HDS Live unit. And that's the one that I run on my boat personally when I choose to go with the Lowrance unit on my boat. And if you guys are interested in any of the units I've talked about in this video, I'll leave links down below in the description to each of these units on the BassTank.com. The Bass Tank is the premier bass fishing electronics company in the entire United States. They sell electronics, they install electronics, they do everything. And if you guys are interested in picking up a fish finder and you want it installed properly, definitely call the Bass Tank. They're the only guys in the entire country I would trust to rig electronics on my boat. And there are so many things that can go wrong during the electronics installation process. I would say that 50 to 75% of the issues that guys have with their fish finder comes from a bad installation. Guys just don't put the transducer in the right place at the right angle. They don't have the right power source, stuff like that. And if your image doesn't look nearly as good as what you see in this video, even after tweaking the images, it probably means your fish finder wasn't installed properly. So definitely give them a call or visit their website, thebasstank.com, to get yourself sorted out the right way. And that's it for this comparison, guys. Let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed, if you want to see more comparisons like this in the future. I can compare some of these units to other brands, do different comparisons, whatever you guys want me to do, let me know down in the comments, give me some ideas, and I'll try to make it happen. Big shout out to the Bass Tank and to Lawrence for making this test possible. Again, I'm not being paid by Lawrence to do any of this. They just allowed me to use some of their units to do the testing. So again, I really appreciate that. And I'm going to continue to work with all the different brands, try to stay as unbiased as possible so that I can give you guys the real information and hopefully help you catch more fish this year offshore with your electronics. Thanks again for checking out this video. We'll see you all next one.